Um, it's, it's, it's a real pleasure um, to, to welcome you. Uh, and I know you're a, a, a true friend of Greece. Yeah, that's very true. Margaritis occasionally tells me that we have two Greek commissioners <laughs> um, uh, in, in the college. But this is an opportunity, first of all, um, to personally congratulate you uh, on the excellent work you have done on the vaccine front. Uh, I've always been extremely supportive of the European effort, uh, even in times when there was uh, public skepticism. And I made the point that the decision of the European Union to purchase um, vaccines as a union and distribute them to all member states uh, per capita without making any distinction between rich and poor countries, large and small countries, was a, a true demonstration of European solidarity. And then we delivered on the project. I think we also added some value uh, in terms of the uh, digital certificate, which was an idea that we first launched and I know you supported. But you've done a fantastic job in terms of procurement, organizing what was an extremely complex process. And now we have reached the point where we have vaccines um, uh, for every single um, European. And now the challenge is to convince people Absolutely. to get vaccinated. Uh, and uh, we, are, we have also reached that uh, threshold. Uh, and uh, I'm happy to report that with uh, a comprehensive campaign that we have put um, 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 uh, together, and I think with a proper balance between incentives and disincentives, we see uh, vaccinations significantly uh, pick up uh, over the past weeks, and we need to continue along that path. But we will also have an opportunity to discuss other fascinating aspects of your um, uh, portfolio regarding strategic autonomy, space, um, which, uh, in which Greece did not really play a very active role, but we, but we, want, to be, we want to be more uh, present under, under this government because I, and let me just conclude with this remark. We've, we've been through a very difficult period, 10 years of, of, of great challenges, but I think we've turned the corner for good. This is a country that is going to, to grow significantly, and we want to be at the forefront, uh, not just of growth, but of, uh, of innovation. Uh, and I think we have the, the, the human capital uh, and, the, uh, and the desire to do so. So again, welcome. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Prime Minister. I'm extremely, extremely happy to be here with you uh, this morning, and thank you very much for your invitation. Uh, yes, indeed, uh, very, a few words to tell you that, uh, um, uh, uh, first, we are very happy that uh, um, your, your plan has been, uh, has been, uh, has been accepted, and, and it was a fantastic plan uh, uh, from Next Generation EU, uh, with a, a big focus on, on, on digital, of course, on the green transition, but on digital. Higher than the average, which is good, uh, and of course we will discuss this today, um, and especially with some applications uh, for uh, infrastructure, satellite infrastructure, uh, secure communication, some many things which are absolutely key uh, uh, for us in Europe, and with a, a, um, a willingness to, uh, to have cross-border projects. So I'm, I'm very happy to be able to discuss this with you. I know also the quality of the, of the technology in Greece in my previous life, because as you know I had a previous life, like all of us. And, to tell you the truth, I, I, I had a very excellent team here in agile development. So I know this, what, 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 what Greece, Greece is doing in terms of technology, agile software development, which is absolutely key. So I will be eager to speak this with you today to, to, to embark uh, everything. And by the way, it's not, uh, it's not by, by hazard that, uh, that yes, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, you have been the first one to say, hey, we need to work on a... On, on a and a digital pass. And, uh, and for me, it's, uh, it is really not by hazard. It's not a surprise. So now uh, I'm here also to see other areas where Greece could be the first one. And by the way, to, um, to drive uh, what we will do at, uh, at the EU level. Um, so we will have a lot of discussions, including with the defense minister, because of course, um, uh, we really um, appreciate your effort here. We really appreciate your commitment. We really appreciate what you did for the uh, European Defense Fund. And we have, we have a lot of uh, ideas, cooperation to, uh, together, and by the way, a lot of involvement with many uh, 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 companies uh, also benefiting from this. And, uh, and we will, of course, discuss uh, uh, this uh, with the minister uh, today. Final point on vaccine, I would like to congratulate you. It, this, was, this has been uh, not an easy task, but we did it. Remember, uh, we said uh, uh, early February, nobody believed we would be able to do it, that uh, by mid-July, in other words, today, 
we will deliver uh, um, uh, what is necessary to be able to vaccinate uh, at least 70 percent of uh, the European population, and it's done. Today, Mr. Prime Minister, we announced today that we have delivered, since the beginning of the crisis, one billion vaccines. Today is the, today is the day where we reach the one billion. Half of it for our fellow citizens in Europe, half for our neighbors, including all our allies, including all our NATO allies, because we are vaccinated, nobody else, and we know that. So that's uh, a very important day. I know that, of course, um, uh, you reach now uh, a significant goal of uh, vaccination, uh, uh, above 60 percent for first dose, uh, uh, 60 percent, and then 50 percent for second dose. So I'm, I'm, I'm very optimistic that, that we will reach uh, quickly what is needed, because we know that uh, we need to vaccinate everyone. We need in order to get uh, herd immunity. Uh, and, um, and, and I find very uh, interesting the way you, you, because we all have some issues now to, uh, to convince uh, everyone, including the young generation. But I think what you do here is, uh, is really going in the right direction. So I, I thank you for that. And, uh, and of course, uh, we, we will support you. We will be ready, by the way, Mr. Prime Minister. If we need a, a, a booster, uh, we will be ready if it's needed. Uh, if it's needed in, uh, in fall, we will be ready to have the doses. But of course, let's start to be vaccinated because maybe we could avoid that. Thanks a lot. Thank you.